This is MSJ Chem, and in this video, I'm going to explain why complex ions formed from the ions of transition elements form colored compounds. A chemical property of transition elements is that they form colored compounds. Here we have a selection of compounds of the transition elements, nickel, chromium, cobalt, vanadium, and manganese. And as you can see, they all have distinctive colors. Compounds of magnesium, sodium and calcium are included and as you can see these form colorless compounds because they are S block elements and they are not transition elements. Here's another example of a transition element that forms a colored compound in solution. This is a solution of copper 2 sulfate. When dissolved in water the copper 2 plus ion forms a complex ion and the name of this complex ion is the hexa aqua copper 2 ion. Here's the formula for the complex ion and as you can see it's got a 2 plus charge. So next we'll have a look at the reason for this blue color in the hexa aqua copper 2 ion. When white light passes through a solution of copper 2 plus ions some of the wavelengths of the visible light are absorbed and some wavelengths are transmitted. Here we can see an absorption spectrum for the blue copper sulfate solution. And as you can see, some wavelengths of visible light are transmitted and some are absorbed. Wavelengths of visible light from 400 to about 500 nanometers are being transmitted and from about 550 nanometers onwards, these wavelengths of visible light are being absorbed. The wavelengths of light that are being absorbed are mainly orange and red and the wavelengths of light that are being transmitted are mainly blue and green. So just to recap, white light is composed of all the wavelengths in the visible spectrum. When white light passes through the copper sulfate solution, certain wavelengths are being absorbed, that's mainly red, and certain wavelengths are being transmitted, that's mainly blue. And the reason for us seeing copper sulfate solution as being blue is because the blue wavelengths of light are being transmitted. So now we'll have a look why wavelengths of visible light are absorbed when white light passes through a solution of a complex ion. So when ligands bond to the central metal ion, there is repulsion between the electrons in the ligand and the electrons in the d orbitals of the metal ion. This repulsion causes the 5d orbitals to split into two different sets, two with higher energy and three with lower energy. The energy difference between the two sets of d orbitals corresponds to the wavelengths of visible light. Here you can see the d orbitals are split into two sets, two orbitals of higher energy and three orbitals of lower energy. The energy difference between the two sets of orbitals corresponds to the wavelengths of visible light. As you may remember from the definition of a transition element, the ions of transition elements have incomplete d orbitals. Electrons can transition from the lower set of d orbitals to the higher set of d orbitals. In the hexa aqua copper 2 ion, the energy required to promote an electron from the lower to the higher set of d orbitals corresponds to a wavelength of approximately 650 to 750 nanometers. To determine which color will be absorbed and which color will be transmitted by the hexa aqua copper 2 ion, we can use a color wheel. So in this example, the wavelength of light that's being absorbed is in the range of 650 to 750 nanometers. And if we look at our color wheel, that corresponds to the wavelength of red light. So if red light is being absorbed, the opposite or complementary color is being transmitted. If we look on this color wheel, we can see that the complementary color to the one that's being absorbed, which is red, is the color of our copper to sulfate solution, which is blue. So let's finish with a summary. Transition elements have incomplete d orbitals. The d orbitals are split into two sets of higher and lower energy and that's when the ligands bond to the central metal ion. The energy gap between the two sets of d orbitals corresponds to the wavelength of visible light. Electrons can transition from the lower to higher set of d orbitals 
by absorbing certain wavelengths of visible light. The complementary colour of the colour that is absorbed is transmitted and you can determine that from the colour wheel. So that's all from this video and don't forget if you look in the video description you'll find the link to a practice worksheet. If you found this video helpful you can click the like button and subscribe to my channel.